Hello everybody, it's Christmas Eve and uh, it's Saturday, so it is a festive grind show. Don't really know how we could make it festive. I could put on a Christmas hat. That's pretty much it. Let's do that right now. So Christmas hat is on, so I've got to do the grind show with the Christmas hat. Um, yes. Uh, by the way, I'm going to be doing a stream later on. There's going to be a special Christmas Eve stream. It's what I do every year. So look out for an MCOC themed stream here. And then we're also doing Fall Guys, maybe some... Uh, Warzone and some Phasmophobia, uh, but that'll probably be on Twitch because people get confused why I do different games on here, but uh, I like doing different games. It breaks up the time. And as a lot of you know, the show would not be possible without the amazing work of Dan of Frontline NC MCOCU. You can check out in the link in the description down below his Twitter and as well his fantastic site, which does allow us to find out what's coming into the game in the next week because we've got the MCC calendar. We've also got other details as well when it comes to what champions have been added into certain crystals, guides, you name it, it's there. Go and check it out, link in the description. Now, because last week's grind show, I uploaded the wrong one, I made a mistake with that one, I did take it down, but uh, yeah, we hopefully got things right this time and I've uploaded the correct one. So first of all, there's gonna be a hero use that is on as part of your 22 hour event. Uh, how this breaks down is, and I've got some kind of like uh, time frame breakdowns, it should, should, he says, be uh, a case of it dropping at uh, 2200, no, no, not 2200, 1830 hours GMT, so this is like a 6pm, it's kind of like after 10am PST, 10.30 PST, 10.30am PST, do bear in mind when I, when I say a lot of this stuff, if this is going to drop today, it is dependent on time zone that's the one thing to point out so yeah should be in theory seeing drop a hero use on saturday so look out for that it will, it will drop either earlier on or later on the day depending on your time zone or could even drop the next day that's the thing so uh it, it is what it is with that one what else is going to be happening well on saturday it is going to be your holiday gift card or gift day look out to your store i will be doing a video on this later on in the day to kind of go like okay we'll have this works blah blah blah, blah and kind of like reveal and reaction and whatever uh, so look out for that uh, and as well there should be an alliance war that will be on so if you can participate in alliance wars there'll be an out of season uh, war that will be taking place so that's going to be exciting. Sunday, later on in the day, there should be a level up event. Again, do bear in mind time zones and whatnot will change that particular element of it. There's also going to be a Catalyst Arena for those that get involved with the old Catalyst Arena. So that should be kind of like popping up for you and it will be the unfun one. And as well, there'll be AQ enlistment. Yes, as soon as the cycle ends, it starts again and officers prepare your uh, your peoples for the the war, not the war, the, the quest ongoing. Now on Monday, and do bear in mind, it's Christmas Eve, Boxing Day, which is something in the UK, and then Monday is uh, Bank Holiday Monday UK time, uh, but I don't know where it is like everyone else in the world. But yeah, Monday we'll see an Arena Wins is on. I would say get involved with that one. I probably might kind of chill out and do a lot more live streaming here on uh, the YouTube channel next week, uh, but I just don't know. I need to plan in a few things. Uh, and also, we have got Battlegrounds store reset. Do bear in mind, we are out of a season of Battlegrounds. It should be the following week that you start seeing a new season that may be season four, which is kind of good because I think that starts uh, start of the new year. So that could be quite exciting. But Battlegrounds store will reset as it normally does on a seven day basis. Uh, you'll also get your battle, you're not Battlegrounds, your Black ISO market reset. Unfortunately, this week there is no or the starting of the uh, the next week there will be no reset on uh, the um, the featured crystals and the crystals that'll be the, the week after and also on a monday you'll see an out of season uh, alliance war it does come close i think in next not next week but the week after for a new season of uh, new season starting uh, but also on monday there will be an alpha catalyst arena yes as soon as that particular arena ends it starts up um, right around the corner for you to get involved with. For any that do, I like to skim about 30 units, or at least try before they just kind of get the extra units. Very important now because, you know, we want to grab units last minute for if you want to get any more kind of um, Greater Banquet Crystals. And it will be an arena part two for Wiccan and Star-Lord, which we did predictions for on the channel. And we'll be doing results for hopefully on Monday, but it is going to be a bank holiday and me and M were planning to spend a bit of time uh, together and, and have a nice dinner. I think we're doing a duck for our, our Boxing Day meal. But uh, hey, you know, you do you at the end of the day.
Tuesday, a very important day, or Tuesday, as we say in the UK. So on Tuesday, there should be an event quest completion. Very, very handy if you're like myself, skimming some units from lower content. I'm currently doing heroic, uh, but uh, as soon as I get stuff like I've done a good chunk of a few things, like I've done a chunk of uh, heroic master and uncollected, it's just a case of now going into the more energy sapping uh, side of things and also being careful with my energy because I don't want to spend units on energy refills so it's important to save back things like my Paragon Crystals but also three-day alliance events which are really really handy to kind of get yourself a full energy refill reinvest it into your grind happy days looking forward to that but the point still remains on what's happening on Tuesday and it's going to be one week until the banquet event ends so yes when Tuesday hits you will have one week until the uh, the event ends because it does end on the 3rd of January and because it ends on the 3rd of January it's all about getting those last minute points and do bear in mind as soon as we come into the business end of um, of the particular event there will be more greater banquet crystals which do drop on the early part 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 or was it supposed that part of 3rd of January so yeah look out for that very, very important as well. All four energy refills as well are coming to uh, the player base, which is great. It's fantastic to get those because they do, again, help out with um, with acquisition and things like that. Uh, and Not acquisition, but the grind in lower content. So reuse them, reinvest them, do it. Lovely, smashing, great. There's also one other major thing that's happening, and that is we are getting a champion into the basic pool. Yes, Quicksilver will enter on Tuesday into the basic pool. Very, very handy. Again, for those that uh, that want to get Quicksilver, also want to have things like Nexuses and, uh, you know, target that particular champion. The only other thing that's happening on a Tuesday is that we've got an Incursion Milestone reset. Unfortunately, because I've been too focused on getting my units, I have forgotten to do a bit of grinding in it. So that's something I should do over... I think I'm going to do Christmas Day evening. When it gets a bit kind of lulled and, not, and people aren't really doing anything and stuff, providing I'm not too, you know, drinky drinky, um, I'll probably do a little bit of Incursions grinding um, there. If not, I'll do it. So now on Hump Day, and again, this is like the, the time it's a bit more chilled. I don't know if Kabam are going to add anything. Uh, to be honest, I think Kabam will probably take a break around this period of time. There's not much, if anything, going on um, and happening. So I would say catch up with stuff. It will be week four of the uh, Scraptacular uh, event. i got to be honest, I haven't really been focusing on it. The um, banquet event has, uh, has kind of like been my big focus of getting units and I'm a little bit behind my grind but that's here Thursday recording this video but I plan to catch up as much as possible to kind of get there um, as quickly as possible and also catch up with where I want to be which I think I want to get another 2k units fingers crossed before I start going into my battle chips which again I may decide to invest more I don't know I'm still making that decision whether or not it's worth me kind of like going any further I did plan on 12, I did budget 12,000 units for it. I'm currently up to 9,000 units spent so far. Actually, just over that, to be honest, 9,300. Um, but I would like to do a bit more. We'll have to see on the results and other stuff as well. And whether or not I fancy actually pushing it a bit more, we'll have to see. But in any case, uh, what is, I've lost myself in a moment. Yes, Wednesday, not much going on. Hero use, potentially, time zones, limits, things like that. Scraptacular, get involved with it. There is going to be a scrap store coming in the new year. So if you can hold, hold, hold on to your scrap a bit longer, we'll have to see. Thursday, stuff going on. Of course it is, right? Level up event. I don't know why I've gone very kind of random for some kind of reason. Level up event, early day, UK time. Get involved with it. You can level up champions again. Alliance War. There's going to be an Alliance War that's going to be on. I'm going to stop this now. Alliance War that's going to be on, um, which will be still out of season, but uh, you know, get to participate in it if you want to. Great opportunity to get loyalty. Um, my loyalty has gone up by 336,000 since I kind of was doing some off-season stuff. Um, win, lose, draw, whatever, you're getting loyalty, right? And, and that's really helpful because it's a loyalty store. Invest it, reinvest it, stuff like that. Loki Basic Arena. So there's going to be a Loki Basic ar Arena, and I would assume the second arena to it may be... Some sort of Guardians of the Galaxy related. Yes, it, we had Korg recently. That's not really Guardians of the Galaxy associated. But we are getting a Star-Lord Arena. So it could be a case it will be pff, Gamora, Drax. Could be something like that. Um, especially facilitating the next few months. Uh, next few weeks, sorry, of the month. And going into the early part of next month. Quite possibly. We'll have to see. And also, there will be a Tier 4 Basic Arena that will be on. As soon as it goes, it's on back again. 
course it is. That's that's how things kind of like work in the world of MCOC. And the final date is a Friday. Now, I don't know if Caban plan to announce anything on this particular Friday. Will it be like, you know, we've got this coming next month. We've got this special end game content. No one knows at the moment. Uh, there's nothing in the CCP for this one to kind of like, you know, wet people's appetite. I would like to see a bit of hype for next year, especially. I'd love to see like events things similar to what Gabe put out last year. But as I said, Gabe's not with the company. So, um, yeah, I don't think it's going to be uh, coming out. But, uh, meh, I guess it is what it is. On Friday, you'll see an arena wins. Very handy if you want to be doing some last-minute grinds into arena for things like units for Greater Banquet Crystals and a Banquet event. And there's nothing else. So use this as an opportunity to get involved with stuff. And at this point, I normally do my grind tip of the week. Very difficult to do a grind tip because a lot of people will be out there farming for different things. If you have reached a point where you're like, hey, I want units for the ba Banquet event, then get involved with stuff. Go grind out some, some units in arena. If you don't like arena, maybe just go, do you know what, I'll just do it this time. Get a little bit more get myself a little bit further with a banquet event for a rank. If you have no interest in that one, I would say, like, have a look at what you've got from the banquet event as to where you see your roster going at the end of the year and kind of have a big clear out. I would say, I've got to do this. I've got to clear out my crystals, like, constantly, consistently clear them out. Just get rid of the stuff. I've got 1,204 there. I'm going to blast through all my arena, like, crystals, which I've been saving. This is this is why I save these back for moments like this where, you know, Christmas is a very busy time. I've got another job, so it's a case that, like I have to make sure I use my boost as much as possible. Sometimes I forget. Sometimes I do use them. So it's a case of, like, blasting through those, the 280 that I've got, but also looking at others that I've got. I'm like, dude, like, you got 390 tier 4 class catalyst uh, fragment crystals. Some I will keep there and save in crystal form because of the extent of stash management so that's the other thing as well yes it's important to get rid of these and blast them open but at the same time it's important to look at stash management and making sure that your stash is not completely expiring which i'm doing okay with some stuff is expiring which i've got to be like a bit more careful of so you've got to really keep an eye on these particular situations like now items wise i've got health potions expiring i don't it doesn't bother me with that because I can just kind of get more. Um, the same thing with uh, the class, the, the, the catas ones. I've got like a few there. If you are feeling they're going to expire, sell them on. You know, that's probably one of the best things to do. If they're lower ones, sell them on. But then the stuff like there, tier 2 alpha, right, I should really do that. Clay max. And I think by the end of the month, it's just manage your stash because I've got to do that. Look, plenty of management of stash I've got to do. Tier 2 alphas are just there stonking up the place. So definitely got to do that. Bit of management, but also looking at your roster and going like, okay, well, I've picked up some great stuff. Where am I taking this team, this roster? Am I preparing something for Battlegrounds? Spending your Battlegrounds store, make plans, target stuff, have goals for next year, those particular things. I've got tons of work to do. MCC job a mile long, um, which I do plan to kind of like set out a day just to kind of work on that stuff. A sad life, but hey, it's a Marvel Contest of Champions life at the end of the day. And there we go, there's the, um, there's the there's a tip, that's been a video. Uh, we've got tons of fun content coming out. I've got uh, an opening with M coming out later on. We've got another opening with M on Boxing Day, 26th of uh, this is Monday, and as well Christmas Day opening, which is a banger. Uh, but yeah, um, thanks for watching this video. Check out some other content located on screen. Have a lovely uh, day, whatever you're doing, and I'll see you in the live stream later on. Cheers, bye-bye.